Hey guys, I'm going to be talking about my airbrushing kit from Blanche McDonald's. Um, I'm going to be talking about in-class work and as well as my kit, so I'm going to kind of like condense it into two videos. So, this is really, really fun. Um, I loved airbrushing. It was a learning experience. I heard that like a lot of people cried in it, and I have a funny story for you at the end of the video. But for right now, um, I'm just going to like talk through it and like show you what I got. So I'm going to start off with um, like the actual kit part of it. So we did receive this beautiful Krylon set bag. Um, so I'll show you it right here. So there's a whole bunch of pockets on the outside. Um, it's a set bag, you know. Bring this little set with you. It's wonderful. It has a lot of pockets inside and it also has a little carrying strap. So beautiful, beautiful set bag that we received and that's the inside of it. Wonderful. Um, and I'll show you our actual airbrush also. The airbrush that we got um, was the Iwata Revolution. This is what it looks like right there. So there's the airbrush. I'll take it out so you can see kind of up close to it or up close of it. That is what the airbrush looks like that we got. Yeah, really nice. A wonderful airbrush. I have never used an airbrush prior to this, but this one was really awesome. And I will show you the compressor. This is the box for the compressor. This is the Iwata Silverjet Studio Series. Um, so that's what it looks like. I will take it out just so you can get a uh, feel for what it looks like and the size of it and stuff. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's actually kind of heavy. It does make noise just like a compressor would, but it's not, it's just like me, like kind of like that loud. Not too loud, but you know, it's, it makes noise. And then we also have like the little cord to connect it to the airbrush. We also did get, um, what is this called? Like a water, oh my God, I know this. This was a question on the exam, like a water trap. Um, so if there's any moisture in the air, this will get rid of it when um, you're trying to airbrush. Okay, so that was the actual machine. Like I said, I never airbrushed in my life before, like ever. So what um, we first started out with was working with just like acrylics. These were the paints that we got. So primary colors, black and white. We started working with acrylics just on paper, trying to get like a feel for it. It's really hard when you first do it because um, it hurts your hand. Like you're holding that and you're like pushing down the trigger and pulling back. Like it hurts your hand. Like for the first day we were doing it for like an hour. I'm like, ow, like what am I doing? This hurts. Um, so we were just working with acrylic paints. These are watered down acrylic paints. So they go through the airbrush, um, really easy. So like any acrylic paint, you can just water down cause it's water based. So you can just run it through your airbrush. So we were doing like trying to do fading and like circles and like trying to get like straight lines. Um, stuff like that and like no barbells so no like they like hold like circles and the line in a circle so it was interesting to try and like get like a smooth kind of working thing going you know these are called calm art colors i think these are just like available at opus um there's one on granville island and then one in gastown i believe also so those we received in our kit and then we also received oh my god also in our kit we received just this airbrush cleaner um, I never really use this because I mostly just cleaned it with alcohol and water, but this is nice to have if you don't have that stuff um, with you. And then also we got a barrier cream. Um, I also bought another barrier cream also. This is like a topical lotion you put on your skin and then um, your skin won't stain. So when you're spraying like acrylic paints on you or like doing body paints like with um, like aqua colors it's gonna stain your skin and if you put this on first it won't stain and then we also just got this little um krylon aqua color it's just like a white one this is just like a little guy i didn't even use this because um in class when we were started body painting they have a whole bunch of pucks that we're just able to use like there's a giant kit and we're able to use it because if we purchased every single one of the pucks like on its own it's really really expensive like one of these giant pucks these are the ones that they had available to us one of this is 27 dollars so that would be really expensive for us if we had to buy like every color of this it would just be way too nuts right so we just got a little white and then all the other ones in class were available for our use. So once we got like the hang of the airbrush, we were then moving on to like actually like doing things on the body. So one of our first days we learned how to do like a galaxy and that was super, super fun. It was interesting to learn like how to like shield and stuff like creating the white. Um, you just like rip a piece of paper, hold it on and then spray a little white through. Um, that was really interesting and like trying to learn like fading and stuff. It was really hard but really fun and like dots too. To do a galaxy it uses like everything that you need to learn like the basics of an airbrush like lines dots like fading and like a shield and everything so that's I think why we were doing a galaxy because it's like takes everything that you learn like the basics of an airbrush and put it into one we also learned like stencil work so like this is a little stencil um and then you like spray and then you know 
as a stencil. And then here's another one too with like just circles. So you would just spray in here and then you get a circle. We had to create a concept for our final exam. Um, we did have a written final exam, but um, this was just like introduction to airbrushing. So we had four hours to do our final exam, which was a body paint. So we could either do just like the front of the body or the upper torso. So it wasn't too crazy, but we also had to have do but we also had to do hair and makeup. So you really had to like time it right. Um, so I bought some stuff for the final project. Got this protector. This is um, a removable adhesive. This says it's for books. I found this stuff at Dollarama. Well, I didn't find it. They talk about this and it's available at Dollarama. All it is is just like this clear film. I have a little piece of it here. I'll show you guys. And this is great for like blocking off body. So if you're trying to create like a line, like all my final project, I did a line on the neck. So I took a little bit of this and put it on the neck. So then um, it was a clean line. All it is is just like a sticky adhesive and you can put it on the neck and then paint and then it's going to be a clear line. So that is like really awesome. So if you're looking for something cheap go to Dollarama because that is amazing for my final project I did do like muscle tissue and I had a lot of practice days in class just trying to do that and trying to like create that um so I'll insert some pictures of like me trying to do that the first time I did it, it was like oh I don't know and then the second time was better and the third time was better it was just like super awesome um so for our final um exam I picked up some stuff um and I'll show you what exactly it is this was in my haul I used Krylon Aquacolor just like the skin color it has a little bit more yellow in it because I needed a little bit of yellow in the muscle tissue I also bought car sponges um because I thought this would be like really nice to apply the paint with because it's really dense and thick but I wouldn't necessarily suggest these because it absorbs a lot it doesn't really place a lot so it was kind of a bummer on my part so don't buy car sponge well, these are okay but I think just a regular kitchen sponge would be awesome I also got a black Krylon aqua color because um I like did the bodysuit in black so that was really neat so for my final exam my model didn't show up <laughs> she just just didn't show up she did she no she didn't text me she had my number she Facebooked me and then like 10 minutes before it was supposed to start I just checked my Facebook and she said she wasn't coming so I started like an hour and a half late and I only had like two and a half hours to do my exam but I got it done we had four hours, but I didn't have that amount of time, unfortunately, but I did it. Um, I wasn't 100% happy with the results because there was a lot of things that I could have done. Like, I had all these, like, cutouts for my model's body, and then my this replacement model that I finally found, it wasn't the same size. But I think I did really well on the muscle tissue for what, like, the time I had to work with. So I'm proud of myself for getting it done when I was like scrambling and like freaking out and like I cried because my model didn't come my teacher's like it's okay it's not your fault like don't worry so it was really like nerve-wracking because I was so prepared and then just everything like came crumbling down it was fun um I did like a messy hairdo for her and just like really simple like classic makeup on her um I really love the muscle tissue because it pushed me and like I could have done like a full like body makeup use like a lot of stencils but like having to hand do every single one of those lines it really pushed my skills and like having to make it all like go in the right way and like anatomy and stuff that's what I, I really wanted for all my projects I like to go a little bit beyond what I think I can do just because I want to push myself so that's why I chose to do like muscle tissue and yeah that's was our airbrushing like it was just an introduction to airbrushing but like I learned so much stuff like it was crazy how much I learned yeah follow me on Instagram it's Bailey Budixo and I'll see you guys later bye